For wildlife news today, we head to the Democratic Republic of Congo, where it is curious, can we save the last of the hippie apes? If you guys don't know, bonobos, uh, similar looking to chimpanzees, are called hippie apes because it's a female-led society, and they use uh, sexual acts in order to uh, get favors. So, um, I don't know, like a kind of like a primate version of OnlyFans or something. I don't know. But uh, the thought up until 2019 is that they were a very peaceful society. They didn't have any violence. That was all found to be uh, not true. And it was found they were actually more aggressive. And the males that were more successful in mating were the ones that were more aggressive and were more violent than chimpanzees. But the thought is, however, there's less than 20,000 of them right now in the Democratic Republic of Congo. So they're offering credits really to the local people. And that's where it has to come out for at that harmonious balance with a civil, a civil society for biodiversity and kind of looking at it as they will give people credits for uh, people that are from that those communities where they live to protect these species and encourage them to, to be out there, but also seeing them as more valuable alive, um, maybe for like a tourist type, to, type thing. And remember, before the 1970s, the bonobo was basically regarded as an unknown primate. So just in the last 50 years, you have an understanding of kind of how they link. And of course, they spread off from chimpanzees approximately 2 million years ago. And did you guys know uh, that the unicorn is the national animal for Scotland? Now you do.